All right, game maker, how to draw instance variables out. Uh, instance variables are variables that are owned by individual objects. That's why they call them instance variables, because they belong to the instance. Uh, how do you draw them to the screen? It's going to be a really quick video on how to get that done. Now, I've made one object here in my room. I'll just show you. This thing right here is called the object O draw. And you'll see here in my room, draw is just blank right now. I'm going to make this object responsible for drawing out the variables of, uh, of different instances. So let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do is, you see I have a player in the room. Let's say we're going to get him to pick up keys. And I want to count the number of keys that he's picked up. Let's give him a variable to keep track of that. So I go to the player, go to create. I see I already have points there. Let's just take that out. Let's go. I'm going to make a variable and call it key count. And I'm going to set the variable to zero when they start out. Now let's check the box. And let's just do something really quick here. When they collide with a key, let's say with the other, which is the key, we instance destroy. And for ourselves, we say key count equals key count plus one. That way we gain one more key on our variable. Now where's the drawing? Now that we have that variable working, here's the drawing. I'm going to go to my draw object. And all drawing has to be inside the draw event. If you try using these draw commands in any of these other events, uh, you can type the lines out, but they're not actually going to draw. Okay, drawing only works in the draw event. Now, what is the draw event? The draw event happens pretty well every cycle or every step along with step. So about 30 times a second if you haven't changed any settings, right? So it happens a lot, and it's constantly drawing to the screen. So let's go to draw, add a little code, and here's our code. First thing you usually want to do, don't have to, but it's good, is choose what color you want to draw on. And Game Maker has a bunch of default colors in there for you that should uh, help you out. After you've got your drawing color, basically the command is draw text. And so let's choose a spot to draw this. X of 50, a Y of 20, so it's near the top left corner of the screen. And now it wants a string. Now the string it wants, let's say how many keys we have, the string should be in quotation marks for words that you want to spit out. That indicates they're words and not variables. Okay, this is called a string of letters. Now, of course, we want to tag on our variable. So you think you'd want to do that. Plus key count. The plus sign joins text up for you. And then you'd expect this just to work. Let's give this a little run, see what it does. And, of course, you see the video still has another minute or two, so you know that can't be totally right. And it gives an execution error. Okay? And it has to do with this, and it has to do with a little something extra as well. When you want to print this stuff out, you have to give it string or text. This here is a variable that represents a number. So key count right now is the number 0. What we have to do is we want to turn the number 0 into the text 0. Now there's an easy way to do that. There's a built-in method. So to get the number 0 into text 0, all you do is you give it to the string method. So this is a method built into GameMaker. You give it a number, like key count, and it'll send back a string of that number. So this is fine to print out. Now if that sounds weird, don't worry about it. Just know that if you're trying to print out the numbers, use the string command to convert them. Now, when I go to do this, it looks pretty good, but there's one problem. Right now I'm coding, and I'll show you the problem, because you'll probably get this in your own code when you do it. It says variable key count. So it doesn't know what this variable is. And here's why it doesn't know what it is. The variable is called key count, and it belongs to the player. Remember that we made key count inside of the player. This means 
that when the player's coding, they can talk about the key count. But right now, we're not inside the player. We're inside of ODraw. When ODraw talks about key count, basically it's like, what? There's no key count in me. So you get this error. So here's what you can do when you're trying to draw a variable out from another object. And there's a few different ways to do this, but this is a quick beginner way. Assuming you only have one player on the screen, you can do this. You can say, with the player object, run this code. And so now that you're doing this, this code is temporarily run inside the player object. And since the player object has the key count variable, this plays out OK. So that's one solution to it. There's another solution I'll throw out here. Um, you know, if you're just beginning, this works fine. But the other solution looks something like this. Pretend that you didn't do this code. Well, actually, let's just test this out and make sure this works first. And there's our keys, zero. So it's working nice, and as I move around, I pick up my keys, the keys go up. So it works pretty nice. Now we are saying there's another solution here, but it uses a concept that unless you've uh, read about local variables won't make sense, but I'll just spit it out here in case you've seen it. You can make a local variable and do something like this. Variable num num then we can say this with object player num is key count and then you could do the normal draw line and instead of key count print out num now, later on in the course or in some of my videos, I'll show you reasons why this may be preferred, little tricks you can do. But you probably look at it and go, no, I'd just rather do this little simple section here. Okay, but just to show you this here should work. And just to prove it, of course, we got to give it a run. And you can see that one works too. Okay, but if you don't know about local variables yet, this probably won't make a lot of sense. Anyways. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.